everybody guess what it is summertime and we're gonna make one of my favorite favorite side dishes we're gonna do summertime sides today I'm gonna make it's a linguine with corn and mayo and stuff and it's super easy and super fast to put together behind me I have linguine which is important that you use linguine because you need some or you can use fettuccine but don't use regular spaghetti you need something with a little more bite. And speaking of that, of course, we cook our pasta to al dente. So just a little bite left in it. So in here, one cup of mayo. Not the other thing. What's the other thing? Miracle Whip. We're going to start with a quarter cup of milk. Just to thin it out a little bit. And like I said, this is cold, so it's really, really good, especially on a hot day. Just a pinch of salt and a pinch of pepper to get this party started. Then, yeah, that looks good. It's thinning out nice. So I'm just going to make it till it's nice and creamy and get the lumps out and stuff. And then I'm going to add half a cup of diced red onion and we'll get that going and then a third of a cup of parmesan you can use powder I just happened to get this stuff because it's fancy and I wanted it to be nice for the video but parmesan and then sweet corn this time I thought I'd try it sweet white corn but any kind of sweet corn I've already drained it and then put it back in the can. So now, this is all mixed up. And I'm here to tell you guys, this is the bomb diggity. And how fast was that? Super fast, super easy. Once my linguine's done cooking, I'll mix it up and that'll be a wrap. Well, my noodles are done. Pasta, pasta. Mm-mm-mm. So I'm going to put these in here and hopefully, like my wife says, why are you always going to bowl? That's three sizes too small. Well, that's how I like to do things, don't you know? So all I'm going to do is toss this and mix it up. Now you could have, if you were smarter than me, which you probably are, Ran these under some cold water, but I didn't want to wait. Plus, I want this stuff to stick. And if you run it under cold water, what tends to happen is the starch rinses off and it doesn't stick to the pasta. And look, this is mixing together nicely. I'm just trying to get to the bottom. So the corn and everything can come to the top. Oh yeah. And the bits of red onion. I'm telling you right now, that's some good loving right there. I hope you make this. Like I said, it's one of my all-time favorites for the summer. I'm going to put a lid on this. Stick it in the fridge because I'm making it for tomorrow. It is so good cold. Hope you try it. Please subscribe to my website. I mean my, uh, sorry, my YouTube channel. And hope you have a great day.